Okay, or tutorial for community editor version three beta nine point seventeen. All right, you wanna go on to Discord? I wanna read the rules? I wanna read the FAQ? Grab the pins? Picture of the pens. Where can I find the mod tool? Community editor channel. In the pins. There's the link. Don't forget to follow subscribe on Twitch. Donations are always appreciated. Download data for the web version. Be when you download. Go to your downloads folder. Find it. Uh, somewhere. Go. Oh, you might need to tell your browser not to just delete the file. Extract the file. Run the file. I have free save your free saves if you have them, plus Heartland if you own the DLC, and have a save file. Click. Loads up community screen. Uh, if you've played any amount of days, you'll be able to change how many days you've survived. If you haven't played a day yet, it'll be minus one and you can't change it. Community name, resources, uh, options for your specific save. Time of day, it's on the 24 hour clock, so from 0 to 2400. Unlock all map icons from radio cooldowns and radio calls. Un remove radio cooldowns, resets them all to 0. It does not remove them permanently. Uh, if you have daybreak, you will be able to unlock all daybreak items in your collection and set your amount of prestige. You'll also be able to unlock all legacy boons for every difficulty level. Survivor tab, you've got, if you have legacy survivors, I think that works, currently, maybe. You can export survivors, it will save it to a file. You import, import the survivor, makes a copy of the survivor. You can have as many survivors as you want, you can have 50 survivors and the game will still work. Uh, you can edit the names. If one of these does not work, then edit this one. For some reason it messes up sometimes and doesn't always work. Change the model, voice, standing, hero bonus, leader type, current health and stamina. This is not the maximum health. To increase maximum health and stamina, you need to add traits that increase health and stamina. Uh, the skills are listed. You can add new skills, delete or edit current skills. If you click this little button here, it changes how the traits are listed, the in-game name if it's unticked, and it's the file string if it's ticked. Anything that says debug is either to do with a descriptor of the character, or it's to do with the skill specialization that they can pick when the skill gets to level 7. Inventory, you've got community, you've got stuff on the floor, and you've got stuff in your vehicles. Click the little buttons, uh, change it to whatever you want, increase the durability, set the amount in the stack, guns, you can add mods, gun has mods, you can delete the mod, change the mod, whatever you want. Uh, in the settings, you can click the sort inventory button and it will sort your inventory alphabetically. This will not affect how it's shown in game. Uh, so. For guns, for example, the last magazine you put on the gun is the one that's shown. Even if you sort it alphabetically, it's still the last one that you physically put on the gun. It does not change the in-game order. Facilities. You have all the facilities at the base. You have at the bottom, you've got your boons that you've selected. If you do not have two boons, there will be a button there that says add boon. And you can click that and it will add them. Uh, you can select slot passives, 
you can change the status and you can attach a mod vehicles you've got a little map here uh, there's no background currently but there will eventually have background just like that they are numbered so they match up and when you select them it will highlight on the map as you can see set the fuel percentage 0 to 100 if you go over 100 it doesn't actually do anything it just stops at 100 it doesn't feel further than that kill the vehicle which repairs the engine the chassis uh, or the frame like it's completely fully repaired you can change the vehicle type the these numbers cannot be changed currently i am potentially working on the ability to change it maybe if i feel like it and then you can just delete the vehicle if you want map gray is vehicles and matches up in the vehicles tab red are play carts once you've made your changes hit save all changes and you're done Make sure the game is closed while you're doing this, or at least on the press any key screen. It cannot be at the main menu, and it cannot be inside a save, or it will not work. Uh, settings, you've, like I said before, sorted inventory. You can also change the theme to dark. Makes everything grey and awesome. Help button doesn't work. Load backup button doesn't work. They will work in the future. They currently do not. If you want to get back to the menu, hit reset. That's everything you need to know. Bottom right corner is the PayPal link. Thank me for being awesome. Welcome.